and I'm here to let you know that I had my first paying customer with the heat press and I actually had it was my cousin she and her husband are ministers and they have their own church and so she needed to have their logo put on two hoodies originally so she brought those hoodies over and then I made the design and then put that design onto the shirt and I actually used gold for that and I did not take a picture of that because I thought that you know this was just a little quick thing it'll uh, be done and over kind of deal and she got home showed her husband and then she, he wanted some more things made or she wanted some more things made and she brought back six additional items so I got to uh, work with the metallic foil they wanted all metallic foiling because she had seen this shirt here that I had showed on Facebook and so she wanted to have metallic foiling and she wanted to have different colors of the metallic foiling she wanted like some royal blue she asked for silver and it was some other color I can't remember what the other color was or hot pink was the other color and so I did not have those colors and I don't even know if foil comes in all of those colors or it's not really a foil it's like a metallic because there is a difference between foiling and using metallic heat transfer vinyl there is a difference so we were she mentioned in foil as far as her colors but I was able to do silver for her. I had silver, but I did not have the other colors. And then I went to Joann's, and they did not have those colors either in the silhouette. I did not look in the Cricut line, but I was looking in the silhouette line. But I did buy like a teal blue, and then I had some other color foils that I had ordered from Amazon, which I'll have in a review somewhere in a haul. And I used some, showed her a picture of what I had, and then she selected what she wanted from there. So I did not take a picture of the first two hoodies that I did. And I think the colors on those hoodies were navy blue, if I'm not mistaken. And I used the gold foil, I mean the gold metallic vinyl. I keep saying foil, but I used the gold metallic vinyl on that. So they came out really pretty. And then when she came back, she had two pink that she wanted green metallic vinyl and then she had a gold that i ended up putting like a bronze color metallic vinyl it is really really pretty it was my favorite and then she had two navy blue jackets that she wanted me to put in a red hoodie that i ended up putting silver on those so i will put up pictures of the items that i did take a picture of and let you see them all right here welcome back now how much did i make for my first paying job it was my cousin so i kind of did like a discount for her and i charged her nine dollars total for each item so i did eight items for her so i made 72 dollars and then i had an extra one that i had printed out that she purchased that one as well so you can say that i made 81 dollars on this order now I did um, do a lot for that $9. The product alone cost $6 a foot. And I did, I did her design in my Silhouette software. Then I had to cut and weed. I had some issues with my Silhouette product where I was not using it correctly. And it was causing my vinyl to roll in crooked. As well as causing it to cut through to the backings. And so I had to do... I had a lot of material I want to say maybe I had four feet total that I've wasted in vinyl doing this job so if you subtract that from my $81 profit I'm getting a little lower there as well 
but it was more about the experience of working with a customer and knowing how what kind of pressure you might be under to get a job done and so that was all part of the process so i'm glad that i had my first customer and it was very successful she loves her product if she did not love her product she would not have come back with the other items that she had so i'm looking forward to getting more into the heat press journey and i hope you'll stay along with me for this i'm not sure if it's even going to take off because you got to have a customer but one of the things that i wanted to do was my own branding and that's why i wanted to get into the heat press business the shirt that i have on here that we ordered these were ordered most people got these in a purple and white but i ordered various colors because i am going to be using this as my business so i am getting into branding more this year and so i wanted to make sure that i had different colors so people didn't think i was like wearing the same shirt every time they saw me so i have short sleeve shirts as well as some long sleeve shirts but yes so thinking of shirts this is going to be the next t-gear shirt it's going to be black with this metallic gold foil and so this is what i will be selling um i have to get prices for this i have to get my first order in so if you think you may be interested you can do that i'm actually going to be selling these hopefully through my website if i can get it to do t-shirt orders and then filling them from there i am just going to go ahead and start ordering shirts and making supplies ordering shirts and supplies so that i can finish these shirts and let me pull this shirt back out again i got to thinking once i saw this shirt that i do not have my actual website on this shirt so i've been kind of doing a little playing around with it as well and so i have now decided to take all of my t quilt shirts from my t quilts gear number one which is going to be this shirt and i am going to put my web address on the back so that's currently what i'm doing with all of my shirts not the shirts that i'm selling just my own personal shirts and then i also went and bought a hoodie so if i have something that i need to wear over then i can have this hoodie with t quilts on it and then i am also going to i've got it marked so that when my hood falls down you can see where I'm going to put the web address right there. And then just for fun, I started making some other t-shirts. I thought that I would go ahead and share those with you as well. Just trying to get some experience in with designing things, working a lot with the fonts. And so I am having a grand time. I love this. I just want to make quilts and everything was fine until i got to the word quilts where i decided to do like this patchwork stitch and that was a bear to weed and so i know that if i'm going to sell this shirt that or use this particular font that shirts with this font will most definitely cost more money and then the last shirt that i made I saw from another video and I made my own rendition of it is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and I just love the play on all of the lettering how they're turning corners and you get to read it in a clockwise fashion and so I thought that I would do that and I thought putting this on a white shirt would make it look very grand and would look cute in any color of metallic foil that I had. So these are some things that I have been working on, um, enjoying my heat press journey, haven't done a whole lot of quilting. I have been working on this quilt that's down here on my frame. I got to do two side borders and put a binding on it. But I just wanted to give you an update on some of the things that I have been making with my heat press and the fact that I did give my first customer. So I will see you all next time. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please share it with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.